Paula Lopez Olivo is suing her former roommate, Lisette Fajardo, for the return of rent and security deposit, moving expenses, and storage fees. Order. All rise. This is case number nine on the calendar in the matter of Lopez Olivo versus Fajardo. Parties have been sworn in. You may be seated, sir. Have a seat. Ms. Olivo, how do you know the defendant? Uh, we used to work together. Before you moved in together, where were you living? I was living with my mom. Prior to living with your mother, you were living with your boyfriend. Correct. How long were you living with your boyfriend? About a year and a half. And when did you break up with him? We broke up like in August. You have a child? I do. I have a nine-year-old son. And the boyfriend is not that child's father? No. You were living with the child and the boyfriend? Correct. When you were living with the boyfriend, how many times were the police called? None. Did you ever tell anyone that he was abusive? No. Tell me why you left. We just broke up. It wasn't working out, and we broke up. You moved in with the defendant when? January 5th. That's incorrect. She moved in with me at my parents' house in December because her mom kicked her out. That correct? Uh, no, I was... Easy enough, two phone calls. Did you ever stay with your child at the defendant's house? I did. From when to when? I think it was the week of Christmas. Any particular reason you moved out of your mother's house prior to moving into this apartment, which was scheduled for January, Christmas week? Right, we just weren't getting along and... Okay, yeah. so you weren't getting along. Moved in in January, you moved out in April. Yes. You moved out in April. According to the defendant, it wasn't working out. You were not on the lease. I was an occupant. That's you good. were allowed to be there, but you were not a signatory to the lease. Right. And there came a time when the defendant changed the locks on the door. That's correct. Had you ever, during the course of your living with the defendant, given a key to the apartment to your ex-boyfriend? Never. Did he ever enter the apartment with your key? Um... Um is not an answer. Did he ever enter the apartment with your key, with your permission? No. That's incorrect. Right. Did your ex-boyfriend ever enter the apartment with your permission, with your key? No. Go. Yeah, he definitely came in. It was her birthday. This is just one of the incidents. It was more than one time. I was at home. My dog was sick, so I was getting ready to take her to the hospital. And somebody starts opening the front door, and it's him. And was I that did the not first like time he let himself into the apartment? No. How many times prior to that had he let himself into the apartment with the key? Quite a few times, maybe about like five times did you ever, that I knew of. Did you ever discuss it with her? Yes. I would text her and she would ignore my text messages about it. Was that during the month of March? Yes. Did your mother like the boyfriend? I mean, she doesn't really care. Do you understand, Miss Olivo? You know, I know you have a sweet face and you think that maybe your mother believed you, maybe Bird would believe you. I don't believe you. <laughs> Do you understand? So we're gonna start again. Okay. How many times did your boyfriend come into the house? Yeah, he never let himself in. Yeah, I don't believe you. Because now we had an ex-boyfriend that we weren't getting along, then you move back in with your mom and all of a sudden you're living on your own and the boyfriend is back in the apartment. That's what the argument was about with her. And her statement suggests that you had at some point confided in her that the ex-boyfriend had been abusive to you. He actually put hands on her in the apartment and I heard everything. He took off before I actually saw him, but she was crying and we had already been arguing. We've gone to many altercations before. What were the altercations about? Actually, one day my dad was going to come over and I told her, um, can you not smoke because she smokes weed? I told her not to smoke weed in the house because my dad was coming over and to be respectful. And she was like, well, this is my house too. I can smoke weed in here if I want to. I was like, wow. Okay, so it's just, that's just an example, just being disrespectful to me. I got it. Okay. 